Eric? Jackie, to be clear, while Maya Santa Maria says the two men worked for her as recently as last year, she says she does not know if Derek Chauvin and George Floyd ever actually spoke to each other. The first time she saw this video, Maya Santa Maria says it took her a moment to make the connection. My friend sent me and said, This is your guy, the guy who used to work for you, and I can see it's not him. And then they did the close up. And that's when I said, Oh my God, that's him. She says now former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin worked security for her at El Nuevo Rodeo for 17 years before she sold the club just months ago. He sometimes he sometimes had a real short fuse and he seemed just uh, afraid when there was an altercation. He <coughs> Always resorted to pulling out his mace and, and pepper spraying everybody right away, even when I felt it was unwarranted. Even more surreal, Santa Maria says, is that George Floyd, the man pinned under Chauvin's knee on Monday night, worked for her, too. I didn't recognize George as one of our security guy, guards because he looked really different lying there like that. And it wasn't until I saw the pictures of him come up, then it snapped, and, and one of my employees said, look, Maya, he, he worked for us. Both men who worked security for the same club before their final encounter that left one dead and the other at the center of national outrage. But Santa Maria says she does not know if they ever really knew each other. Um, they were working together at the same time, it's just that Chauvin worked outside and the security guards were inside. I thought to myself, what if he could just could have just said, hey man, you and I work together at Maya's place, man, like, remember me? Santa Maria says George Floyd had been working security at her club for about a year on some of their busiest nights, she said. He might have been among 20 or 30 people she would bring in for security in addition to off-duty police such as Chauvin. We've reached out to Chauvin's attorney and the Minneapolis Police Department about this development, but at this point we're still waiting to hear back from both of them.